Or you could just kill advanced creatures and get like the scripts for them, which is what I've done before. But that takes forever and is a lot harder. I think if we just created an army of droids, then we could defeat the Megas without having any casualties. Like, oh my god, just realizing that's what like they were going for in Star Wars. A droid army. It's genius at first. Until Jedi's come and fuck it all up. What is going on everybody? Riot here back with another episode of Ark Survival Evolve here chilling on the modded survival server. Now, something absolutely terrible happened. Something, the worst possible thing that could happen in a survival series video is I played for about an hour and then realized all the footage got destroyed. It just got, it just got obliterated. I don't even know what the fuck happened to it, but the whole recording got pooped. And it really sucks. It was, it was one of my favorite recordings ever. Like, it was like, it just has the most amazing ending. Who the shit keeps texting me? It just has the most amazing ending ever that was like... It was the best creature I've ever tamed in my entire life. So instead, since now that I can't tame it again, because I already have it, and it would take about, like, a... He's eating a pygmy! It would take a good long-ass... Oh my god, there's my leech. There's my leech! Here's the whole thing that I tamed last episode. It was a whole thing. And since it would take about, like, a month to, um... To re-go over everything that I did to get it and to regather all the supplies. How do you take these things down? How do you go down, buddy? I've never actually tamed a pygmy before. I'm pretty sure you have to use those special treats, though. I'm just being a- Don't eat him! Don't do it! Look at that giant mouth! Oh god, he's just no relent. He's okay. You know what we're gonna do, buddy? Old-fashioned way. We're gonna throw a smoke grenade and get the hell out of there. God. Get over here. Get over here, buddy. Ah, this thing has insane torpor. It's not going anywhere. But you do gotta calm down. Stop trying to eat him. Yeah, he's not going to sleep no matter what. These poison grenades knock everything unconscious. Alright, so basically what happened last episode... Gotta catch my breath. This is a mouthful. Is, um, I just used one of the craziest things about D the Dino Overhaul mod. Dino Overhaul X is evolving creatures. You can freaking evolve creatures if you have the right amount of resources and stuff. It's like, okay, this guy's not the fastest. So what I'm gonna do is, actually, where the hell? Damn it, you guys missed it. I tamed a freaking elite Pterodon, or Tyr I Pteranodon, I mean. But I tamed an elite one, and I was attacked by a Dimorphodon that just kind of, they both just flew up in the air attacking each other. About half an hour ago, and they've been circling forever. I assume they're at the peak of the map by now, just circling up there. Lost my buddy. Okay, so the fastest way to get around right now. The leech is not the fastest creature, unfortunately. So I'll be definitely showing off his magical abilities in a second. I just want to go over how you obtain it for everybody out there who plays this awesome mod and wants to, um... Wants to try and get one themselves. Because I understand, I guess, I guess Anthony tried to tame one too. Because there's, uh, there's the primes, which have to be summoned. And then there's the wilds, which are just randomly spawning all over the map. But the wilds have like a million, like no shit, they have one million torpor. That's how much torpor they have. So if you try and tame one, you're gonna have a bad time. They're gonna vaporize you. But if you use the summoning recipes that are provided through the Dino Overhaul mod, then you can obtain one, as well as many other awesome creatures. The recipes like auto spawn in the anvil or the workshop, can't remember exactly, but Meaty has both of them, so I figured I'd just run over to his base. And show you guys the exact ingredients that you need to gather to make one of these bad boys. And it's like, this is the saddest part too. God, Meaty's base is always so awesome. It's always a combination between amazing structures and then just the craziest creatures tamed ever. Look at this Apex Aloe, this thing's a beast. Let's go, oh, no, 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 don't, don't change the name. Don't do, don't change the name. Oh God, I'm burping while screaming. Okay, I'm just gonna not screw anything up. But look at the size of this beast. That's a huge bitch right there. I don't even have a shirt on. Why is my guy like so much more hairy than he usually does? The crazy thing too is, the, the thing I was just about to say before I um, interrupted myself was, I believe it's this, is the, the actual evolution process. It's actually like, like if you guys ever played old school Sonic Adventure Heroes when you, when you, would, when you would evolve a Chawa and like a little forest field of magical sexiness appears around them, it's exactly what happens here and it's like the craziest little dome this magical little dome just appears around the creature and then they change inside. Actually what happens is, like what happened here with this creature is like a crazy metallic box crate that was shaped like a giant leech opened up. And once I opened it and got it, then I got this little thing down here in the my last inventory slot which was the prime leech. Then when I put it down it was just auto tamed. Because that's how, that's how summoning the creature goes. You're basically evolving your compy into another creature. And then you get this little Prime token, which you use to spawn in other crazy-ass creatures that are even more insane than the Prime Leech. It's just infinite mysteries going on over here. This mod, I had no idea this stuff even existed until, uh, Meaty told me about it. So much goodies in here. Alright, so it's these, right? I believe it was the script number two. Yeah, it was this one exactly. See the, let's see, Apex Leech Prime. It requires three Mosasaur liver, 50 Apex Toad legs, 25 Apex Boa hearts, and two Megacarno lungs. 
Now, if you guys remember at the beginning of the series, we came across a trike as all the mods were blending and it wasn't complete yet. We had a trike that was not, I think it was just a regular vanilla trike, but in the Dino Overhaul world. I think that's what it was. And everything gets knocked down to different stats in Dino Overhaul world. So we had a very OP trike. I didn't even realize what was going on, so someone explained it to me. And then we had to remove it from the game. But in that process, we did manage to kill a couple Mega Carnos. So I did have two Mega Carno lungs. I wasn't deleting the items. Like, I, I, they're too fun. There's no way. And then the biggest bitch about the Apex Toad and Apex Boa, because our, um, our buddy, our giants, I can't remember what the hell's, hell's, what, what the shit's his name? I named him, like, Boulder or something. Or Crater. Something. Or Siege. What the shit did I name that guy? Either way, he's able to vaporize all pretty much prime creature, not prime creature, apex creatures. The hard part was finding that many toads and boas. Like, I was in the swamps for like a month, man. Not actually. Not even close. I exaggerate like crazy, but it felt like a long time. So then basically, what happens is you tame a prime compy. I guess there's other creatures, other things too that, um, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's more crazy shit to this, hang on. What is it? See, these ones all demand you summon a compy. And then what happens is you basically put all the ingredients inside the compy, and once the last ingredient is entered, then it just goes into its whole bubble shield and crazy shit happens. But what Meaty was saying that there's some, is there's some creatures that you spawn... Whoa, summoning Manticore Y or Z. Oh, shit. See, this, is, this must have been what he meant. Summoning Manticore Y or Z, you straight up tame a Manticore X. And then you could... Because he was saying you could also evolve creatures. Look at all these different Ice Manticore, Fire Manticore... You evolve creatures into other kinds of creatures. So if you tame a manticore, you could actually do... It's just It just goes on forever. Look, and then there's these. These are the ones he must have meant. Once you have to evolve it, you hop on the creature and press X. This is crazy, dude. This is some nuts stuff right here, man. I'm excited. He's already got the... He's already got two nukes? Oh, the bastard. There's just so many fun adventures you could have as far as, like, summoning creatures goes. Like, summoning them to do your bidding. And evolving other creatures. And he was saying some creatures, I assume like the Manticore and stuff, once you evolve them, they could even like level, not like level up, but like basically evolve into something else that's just like even a more advanced Manticore basically. Not how like the Compi will evolve into a completely different creature. Which by the way was kind of sad, that Compi was kind of a bitch to find. I've yet to see another Prime Compi in this whole game, but that's why I carry these things on me. Because it only took about two of them to tame him. That was done off camera, that was done like in the middle of the night. It's like, uh, it's hard to, it's hard to remember everything you guys missed in the last episode. It was so fucking heartbreaking seeing that it didn't record. It was such a great thing. But nevertheless, we have the worm. We have the leech. He does need a name, by the way. Make sure to drop those name suggestions. I was like, by the looks of him, every time I'd come up with a name suggestion, it would be just, just chode related or like dog related. It looks like a giant sausage. I don't know. I don't know what to call him. I got him like level, oh, what's happening? Oh, it's just this little guy. Poor little failure. Nevertheless, this pygmy may get away. I don't even need him at the moment. I have this apex leech to look forward to. Now this gargantuan bastard is just nuts. I've already upped its melee movement. It's just its melee movement speed for the most part. And it is moving, like, believe it or not, this is a lot faster than when you first get it. That sucker is slow as shit. Of course, when you're riding him, you do disappear into the inside of him. Because they're not, they're just not meant to have people on them. So you just, you just become the worm for the most part. <gasps> Damn, I wish, like, okay. Well, there's other people on the server who aren't in our group. I feel like I could just roll up on them as this freaking leech. There we go. Look at that, 2,500 damage, it's a shit ton. I feel like I could just roll up on them as this leech and they would never know it's me. The most amazing thing about the leech is that it can summon in its own little army of leeches that just generally do my bidding. Look at those guys over there. Go attack them leeches. Look at the leeches descending onto them. Oh my god, just mangled blood. Look at all that just, oh, just blood everywhere. It's unlimited power for the most part. I feel like we should call him Palpatine because he's always making crazy ass creatures do his bidding. Ooh, that'd be dope. Or Sidious. <gasps> Darth Sidious, that's your name, bro. Look at this little army coming with him though, man. This, is, this, this guy's cool too. He's like a minion. Yeah, the minion. But then these guys, then you just control an army of leeches. Look how disgusting that is, just all slurping along the ground. And you can literally free summon them infinitely. They last about a couple minutes and they disappear, and then you can just summon them right back out. And the crazy thing too is all primes have crazy abilities like this. Like, and only like half of them spawn in armies. The rest like have other crazy buffs, other powers, just like mystical powers. 
Like the Prime Penguin could summon in a storm. It could literally summon in like a blizzard and um, mini yetis, yeti minions. Oh, the leeches are coming, man. There's too many, like he hits them back, but then they get right back in there. Dude, it's just, it's like a nightmare for these guys. Look at that, you can't defeat him. There's just too many, they're ripping out his guts. Oh shit, gnarly. That is too damn cool for words. Ooh, I wanna go see if we could take down that Titanosaur. I swear to God, if anything happens to this guy, I'm gonna be so upset. But I think as long as we send in our minions, we should be fine, right? Gotta try out something crazy in life. Live life to the fullest. Besides, I freaking love the way he swims. Look at that. Look how horrifying that is. Imagine seeing that coming after you in the water. My god, shitting bricks is an understatement. And shit boulders. The only thing that sucks is you can't really breathe when you're riding on top of him when you're swimming. There's no way for you to get oxygen right there. You just gotta hope that you're about to be at your area. There's no solution. This is gonna be sketchy, I swear to god. If he dies, I'm reverting the server back. Alright, I can't do that. I, I don't know how to do that, but I'm asking Meaty or that German guy to revert the server back like an hour. Because there's just no way in hell I'm letting this creature die. Not like this. Maybe it's some epic battle. But not while just setting my minions in as meat shields to go terrorize the locals. Get him, buddies! Don't make me get closer, you bastards. I want to live. Alright. Oh, your days are numbered now. Watch, they're gonna despawn by the time he gets to him. Here, get that movement speed all the way up. Get out of the way of the worms. Alright, buddies. Do your worst. He's too far away. It's pointless. We have to get a lot closer. Oh, this is sketchy. This is sketchy. There they go. They're gonna despawn right as they piss him off, though. Everyone come to me. Everyone come to me. Stop it. Whistle passive. And come to me. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Everyone come back. We gotta, we gotta time this attack all together. Can't just be running in there willy-nilly. Damn it, guys. You're ruining it for everything. He just, he's, he's too fast for little worms. <laughs> he's, he's not leaving me many options here. Alright buddy, we're gonna get right up next to him. See, the worms are way back there. They're so slow. Damn it, where's the other worms? There's only like half of you here. Okay, whatever. You guys get in there. Godspeed, gentlemen. I know there's supposed to be more worms eventually. There we go, get in there. Get in there, boys. Look, he's frozen on him. He can't move. There's too many leeches under his- Okay, keep your distance. Keep your distance, bro. Look at that, they, he can't attack them. There's too many of them too frequently doing damage. The same thing happens to my leech all the time. If like a bunch of terror birds run up on me, he just takes so much damage and can't return attack. But luckily he can just spawn in an army of leeches, so they kind of do all his dirty work. He's not showing any sign of damage indication, but he's also not killing them, which is hilarious to me. Get him, boys. Keep the stream going. Don't let it grow weaker. Get him. Get in there. The Prime Leech could kill a freaking Titanosaur just using his minions, then the world is a grand place. <laughs> I think he outran my leeches. I think that's what's happening here. Might have to cut him off. Meet him around the front. And then hit him again with more leeches. That's right. That's right, you bastard. Some of those things have AIDS too. Oh, they're all on him right now. Alright, boys. Continue the attack. Never weaken. Never falter. Okay, do something with your lives, though, for love of God. There we go. Him right there. Get that guy. Is he going to the water? Oh, if he goes to the water, we have him. We are little, like, sea worms for the most part, man. If he goes to the water, it's a sure thing. He's not gonna. If we could hurt him to the water, that'd be amazing. Watch out! Jesus! I'm so afraid of this Titanosaur. One wrong move and he ruins my life. Can you guys shut up and try to enjoy a fight over here? Damn it! There we go. Come on. Oh, no, no, don't get stuck on him. Yeah, we leveled up. That's what I'm talking about. What is going on over there? What just did 4,000 damage to my leeches? Who's the Antichrist? This creature might be... We might be asking too much of our worms right now. If I'm being honest with you guys. We might, we might be asking too much of some leeches right now. I don't think they're meant to take down titans. They're meant to just get people off of me. For the most part. That's what they're for now, at least. Before, ten minutes ago, they were for taking down Titans, but after this video, I now see the error of my ways. Crazy amounts of damage, though. So these guys don't stand a chance. Actually, he does stand somewhat of a chance. He's chancing me all over right now. I can't hit him! There we go. 
holy shit, that was terrifying. I could not get a shot off on him for the life of me. Like, his, his hit reticle area was just all over the damn place. Easy. You get stuck. You get stuck, you could die, bro. Follow me away from the stuck. Okay, so that Titanosaur is kind of a dream we might not be able to achieve in our lifetime. Not with one prime. I mean, they're pretty great and all, but they're not like... Like, insanely godly powerful. If they could just go kill a Titanosaur, that'd be a little OP. But like, this guy, a bear, stands no chance. Oh yeah, once the army descends, look at him. Such a great thing to watch. Oh, he's dead in seconds. See, nothing can really touch us. We're like straight up royalty. Our servants walking behind us, destroying anything that touches us. A Titanosaur's a dick. He's leaving me feeling so unsatisfied. I feel like I got rickrolled. Oh, hello there, little failure. Look at this little guy. That's just cool. You're a cool little dude. Are you a pygmy? Or are you just a regular baby? Oh, it's a pygmy. A regular baby would have gone down right there. Yep, two darts for sure. That drop a kid. Oh my god, shit, shit, shit. Hang on. Watch out for the dinosaur. He might want revenge. God knows he deserves it. What happened to his foot right there? His foot's broken. Oh, there we go. That was weird. God, we move so much faster in the ocean, but we're also so much more defenseless out here. And, like, not to mention I can't really breathe in the water. Which, is it's a huge downside for me, to be honest. I'd be surprised how necessary oxygen is at the end of the day. See, even Carnos, nothing really stands a chance. It's a prime creature. It's freaking huge, to be honest. Look how big this thing is. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You done messed up. I don't touch normies like you, man. Filthy muggle. Get off of me. Let the worms eat him. Let the worms eat him. Yeah. God, that's awesome. Our new buddy, our new biggest ally, doesn't even have eyes. He's just a freaking mouth. That's it. That's what I love about him so much. He was totally worth gathering all the resources. Not to mention he was one of the easiest, like, creatures to summon in. All the other creatures to summon are, um... Dude, seriously, though, I've had these worm diseases for, like, a week. What the fuck? It still shows there's, like, worms on me. I don't even have worms on me anymore. I honestly think my character might just have permanent worms from now on. That might be a thing. One thing I was loving, though, was just this this shot right here. The family photo. The chainsaw, the gas mask, and the freaking worm. If only I didn't have to see this through little gas mask eyes. But this is like, this, this, is, the ep this is the epitome of my art career right here, guys. I finally have a creature I could call my favorite pet in the world. In the survival series. It's like a huge deal for me right there. Take the gas mask off. It is not necessary. There's a lot of fish in here that are douche. Douches. So I'm going to summon in my worms. That's right. Look at that. Just polluting the water supply with hundreds of worms. Oh, don't be a dick. Don't be an asshole. Oh, you got worms on you now, buddy. You got leeches coming after you. The slowest leeches in the world, so you're probably fine. Luckily, we're a fast swimmer, man. Thank God, because we could really outrun so many creatures. It's a very important thing, because we're slow on land, but we're strong on land. We're a lot weaker in the water, but at least- GET OUT OF THE DAMN WATER! No! GET BACK, YOU BITCHES! I'll defeat all of you! I'll defeat you all! Get out of my face. Okay, army. Army ho! Oh, my army's still back there, you lazy bear. There we go. Get in there and finish those- finish these guys off. They touched me. You don't touch the head of the mafia. Get in there. Wait, no, 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 no. There we go. Get in there and deal the pain. He's right there, guys. I believe in you. I think my dog has to take a dump. He's like standing by the door. Well, that's what you get for coming in here when I'm recording. I told you. Look at that pose. That's like the only holy pose a giant leech could make. Ew, look at his body all flex up and get all thick in the front. God, these things disgust me. That's why I had to tame one too. It's like, it's my worst nightmare in the game. I had to conquer my fear. To get over that while I could. Even this guy down in three shots, man. This creature does need to get a lot more powerful though, I will admit. If it's going to defeat some of the things it's going to have to, it's going to have to get a lot more powerful. We're also going to start need to start mass producing droids. If we started mass producing droids, honestly, that'd be the best way to kill a mega. Because you could create those creatures... Just using materials and pretty so it's like or you could just kill advanced creatures and get like the scripts for them, which is what I've done before, but that takes forever and is a lot harder. I think if we just created an army of droids, then we could defeat the megas without having any casualties. 
my god, just realizing that's what like, they were going for in Star Wars. A droid army. It's genius at first. Until Jedi's come and fuck it all up. This guy is just the bee's knees. However, he, does, he is about... Apple. Dude, I'm just permanently dead from leech poison. Like, that's just my life now. That's just the, that's just how it ended up. Should have seen it coming. Oh, my God. No zitch. See, only has 7,800 health. It is. It does repair at a very good rate. As you can see, it's, like, very impressive. I'm a big fan. How are you just losing food? What do you eat? What does this thing eat? I have berries, food, and rotten food in there. He still isn't eating anything. What a douche nozzle. What the hell? Fish? Do you eat fish? Dude, he is actually pretty damn fast when he just follows behind you. Aren't you, buddy? Hey, uh, you know what? Leave him in there. I don't want to take him with me is the thing. I want to keep his to stay repaired. Until we figure out the fastest way to keep creatures healed in the dino overhaul mod, it's just better to keep him at base when he's below half health. At least until his melee damage is so insane that it just vaporizes everything. Holy shit, look at all those dodo birds. Only one way to handle this. Only one way to handle this, man. Put them all to sleep. I missed! I missed! Oh, they all ran through it! Oh my god! There's so many dodos right here, dude. So many dodos. So many terrors. Why did I say dodos? Run through the smoke. That's it, you dumb bastards. I know I'm wasting these, but they're actually not that hard to craft anymore. At the beginning of the series, they were. Now they're kind of easy. Yeah, look at them all asleep. That's what happens to dumb bastards who do dumb things, man. Nope, and you go down too. Look at that! That right there! Oh, ball sack! No, you don't, 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 no, you doesn't. I should be using my chainsaw, but for some reason, to just not kill these guys as a fake, like they just run around in crazy ass circles. Alright. Yeah, Gardo's coming! Damn, I hate this neighborhood! Alright, there, you enjoy the sleeping dinos over there. You do your thing. You bastard. Whoopsie doodles. But yeah, look at that. There's no quicker way to just down like 10 terror birds like that. Like nothing. You can just go around mass taming them all. It's hilarious. What's he chasing now? Look at all of them. It's a beer. Damn it! All right, we're getting out of here. We are getting out of here and I'm going to start using my chainsaw permanently. Even if it doesn't, it's just sometimes they run around so wildly around you. It's like, and this thing is a, it's an ascendant chainsaw too. It's just, damn it, my nose is just, it's the strongest chainsaw you could get in the game. And even still, it's getting, it doesn't do what I need it to do. It's very frustrating. Lightsabers, man. I miss having lightsabers in my survival series. What are you doing in here, buddy? Oh, he's an adolescent, or she's an adolescent. I keep telling myself to stop chainsawing it, but the chainsaw just wouldn't turn off. You still, oh no, he's, okay, I thought that was like a wild creature. Now I just want to look at the recipes really quick to see what we should work for next, because it's like... There's so many grand creatures on your Apex Scorpion Prime. One Mega Megalodon Tooth. I don't know if that's possible. Mega Megalodons are fucking huge. Like, they are monsters. They're what everyone says the regular Megalodon should have looked like. They're, they're insanely massive. And more, more scary than that is their movement speed. In the water, they just swim in a lightning fast circle biting you. Like, it's like, I don't know how we're going to... That one sounds kind of tough. Ooh, Pygmy Taming. Right there, look. See the grape treats. That's what I was looking for, but couldn't find. Okay, Apex King Kong. We're not gonna be able to get a mega gorilla bone. A mega gorilla. A, me a gorilla alone. A mega gorilla. That's crazy. Okay, yeah. The Apex Demorphodon requires a mega T Rex arm. That's nuts. But the Apex Demorphodon is like a god. It's insanely huge. Damn, there's so many crazy things on here. Mega Rex. Yeah, that's gonna happen. See, with the Mega Rex, you need all nine tokens. This is one of them. You need all of them for me summoning each creature to summon the Mega Rex. That's how... But imagine having a Mega Rex. Oh my god, you would run the world. Everyone would have to do what you say. Apex Zombie Dodo is probably the other most realistic. 1,000 1, Leech Blood, 5 Apex Terror Bird Heads, 3 Apex Rex Hearts, and 50 Apex Spider Fangs. The hardest part about that is obviously the Apex Rexes, but that's probably the most doable. And the Apex Zombie Dodo is awesome, because it's like 50, 60 feet tall. It's pretty great. It's a pretty great creature. At least we have one creature. Oh, wait, no, and he has the Apex Dire Bear. So, like, we already have two of them together as a team. That's pretty crazy right there. Like, that's all we need is, like, just a few more. Over here, the drone station is where we shall make an army of them. Yes! I don't know if they each require an artifact. That's a bit of a bitch. But you know what? I have, like, 20 artifacts in my base. I'm sure media has a butt ton. We can do it. We can make it happen. So yeah, there's definitely some crazy things in planning for this series. Just big shout out. Big thanks to Dino Overhaul Mod, man. This mod is 
It's insane all the stuff you can do. It's just nuts. Even the droids are part of this mod. So, um, so yeah, if you had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, drop those name suggestions for the leech, and, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Yeah.